And we're back for part two. Right, Kev? Uh, because we're such good at this whole thing. Such good. Wow, I cannot speak a word it's of so good. English. It's so good. We are so good at this whole thing. All of a sudden, after 40 episodes, we have to start doing two feckin' videos for one show. God damn, why is it so complicated? Right, we're in the nightclubs, right? Masks and all that kind of stuff. But as we said, Kev, there surely is going to be hand sanitizer. Yeah, there has to be loads of it everywhere. Like, wouldn't it be? Because it's like yeah. you're holding a glass, you're holding a drink, you drink, but then you take it, but then you get it off somebody else. So you have to do your hand before you take it off that person. Are they wearing gloves behind the bar? No. Or? No. But there'll be clean glass, they'll have clean hands. But will they? If they're lifting dirty glasses, then somebody they're else is just. Like, then. Yeah. I, I, don't not, I don't want to get I don't want to get complicated into it. But then as you said, and I said it at the start, people, when it comes down to Especially teenage discos or yeah. younger, younger lads and younger girls in a normal disco. With no Stuff's going to happen. Stuff's going to happen. There's going to be shifting. There's going to be, as we talked about before, hands going up the chest, hands all going to the chest. And then we're going to have to talk about hands going down to the, the nether region pickle. Like, <laughs> and I, I've never had hand sanitizer on my ball sack or anything like that. But I know I've had chili on my ball sack and deep oh, yeah. there. But I don't. I don't imagine having a finger steeped in hand sanitizer would be, it can a, be nice feeling, yeah. a nice feeling to be inserted anywhere. I, I can't see how it would be nice. I just, there's, there's nothing that makes me think you're going to go back for seconds. You know what I mean? Like, and then you're going to be walking around like John Wayne. You know what I mean? And, like, then, you, and, then, you, and then you might end up in Mazzoni's and have like a, a chili pizza. And then oh. you might, it might all happen again. And then you're like, was it the hand sanitizer or was it the chili or was it, or was it Mazzoni's? <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's definitely going to be one of them. Until the yeah. girl texts you the next day going, well, I was with you in Ridley's before you had Mazzoni's. So you can blame the hand sanitizer. But no, it's, I think it's, it's like, I don't even know if the full guidelines have come out yet, but it just seems like there's so much... Like, do I, I watched a video. I don't know who the guy was. There's a, 70, a 74 page. There's a 74 page guideline into how nightclubs are going to do this. Who the fuck typed up 74 pages of what you're going to do? Probably me, Well, that's Well, that's why it's taking so long for this to happen because yeah. they're trying to come up with every scenario and every scenario going. And these people haven't been in nightclubs probably in 70 years. Well, that's, that's what common. I was going to say. Uh, I think it was the Labour guy. I might be wrong, right? But they're in. Oh, he was, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know the way they're still in, in like this uh, venue where one guy is like up in the rafters and one guy is like over in the balcony there. Well, listen, like, yeah. that, that one was actually in the door. Pickle. Oh, was it, right? Yeah, it was and, in the door. And he asked, he was like, like, how long has it been since you've been in a nightclub to the Cairn Carla and then to Mihole as well? It was like, yeah, yeah like, basically, I think things have probably changed a lot. Since you guys were in a bloody um, nightclub, and like it has, like if you walked into a nightclub now, like I wouldn't have a notion what to be ever walked into a nightclub, right? I wouldn't have a clue, like because why would I want to go to a nightclub at this stage? You know what I mean? Like I'd be like, what? Yeah, so sure, why would you? To check out who's in it. That, no, what? the young ones in short skirt pickle. Why wouldn't you want to go into it? But you, you can see them outside. No, it doesn't matter. We're not gonna say that. Um, you see them outside. It's like yeah, a yeah. Over. You can see them outside. Having a free, uh, yeah. Yeah, you know, when you're doing uh, fundraising events. Um, the, um, you know what I'm talking about, Kev. Uh, yeah, about, we must actually nip in there some night. Yes, me and you have to organize air night out, like you said, Kev. Yeah. This whole me drinking sensibly because you don't drink night. I don't, what's a, what's a big deal? There's, a, there's this stigma around uh, people that don't drink. Leave us alone. We no, don't drink. It's because me and you used to do one thing well. <laughs> And that was drink to get on, yeah. right? And so we, we don't. Did. No, we don't. No, we don't. Can I, just go, oh my, can I just go back to the shower, Pickle? I'm going to ask you a quick question. Okay. Do you piss in the shower? No. No. What? Have, but no. No, I wouldn't. It wouldn't. No. It wouldn't be a regular occurrence. No, nah, no, nah, no. Nah, unfortunately not. You know what I mean? Every I don't time. want no barucas or whatever you call them yokes. It's good for barucas, it don't be fucking cunt. No, but remember Jade in Big Brother went mad because... I can't remember who was in it that year. Uh, the guy with the beard. Um, you remember? Alex. You, you just know who you just said. Jade. Yeah, she's... Like Jade. She, Jade. Jade, okay. Yeah. This wasn't an intelligent person here you're talking about now. Yeah, but she was Jade. right though, wasn't she? Because the lads no. were saying they were pissing in the shower. Yeah, okay. And she 
taught you how to Veruca. As she said, okay. a different so, word, I think. Too. So what I want you to do, okay, if you have a Veruca yeah. or if you have a wart or if you have anything like that, okay, going on, just check what's on it, okay? Okay. And 99% of them will have at least some percentage of U-R-E-A in it, okay? Urea. Wow, okay. thanks, for spelling. thanks for saying that out loud because I was lost with what the words were. Urea, like, which is actually urine, okay? Huh. Urine. Why okay. do you know that? Because that's what it is. Yeah, but why do you know that? But piss is good for most of you. A lot of things, okay? Hey, uh, jellyfish infection. things. No, that's a false accusation also. Doesn't actually help. Hey. Uh, are you calling the creators and the cast of Friends liars, Kev? I based my life yes, on that program. That was, Kev. That was entertainment. <laughs> that was not fact. Okay. My life has just been ruined. Yeah. So piss does not actually take away the sting of a jellyfish. That was Friends, and people I think believed that for years. Yeah. But that's, that's actually not true. Well, I was today days old when I found out it wasn't true, Kev. There you go. My God, hey, well, come here. I was going to chat to you about vaping, right? Um, because I was in on a street in town, and what can you be described as like fifteen year old little scumbags, right? Had now is there said I don't know how these vapes work, but is the ones that do like extra smoke? Yeah, oh yeah, there's extra smoky ones. Yeah, what's the point of that? So you know the you see you know the vaping. Oh yeah, yeah, but that's just, that, just that's, that's why I think I think that's why you know. Oh, oh he's vaping. I don't. There's no other reason why it. There's no other reason for it. I don't think. Yeah. Well, I just think it. Like, what's your what, not not what's your opinion? Because we get to later on. But what's your thoughts on vaping? Like, well, I used to smoke. Yeah. Uh, I had I had a vape. I had a vape for a little while when I tried to get off the cigarettes. Uh, there was there's nicotine in them. Yeah. There's different flavors you can have. I had literally Marlboro flavor because I was smoking Marlboro at the time. Uh, Shout out to all the other manufacturers of <laughs> cigarettes. I'll take that. Uh, whatever, <laughs> whatever you want to do it. Uh, but yeah, it's it was grand. It's okay. But it's a, an aid to help you to stop smoking. That's what it was designed to do. It was an aid to help you get off the cigarettes. But do you okay? take young people now or start unfortunately, them? Unfortunately, kids now think this is a cool idea to yeah. vape. So now you're actually encouraging younger people to start a process that was de- designed to help people get off cigarettes. Yeah. And the people are now starting vaping, which has nicotine in it, to actually start. And nobody knows the side effects of what a vape actually does because there's not enough reasoning behind it eh, as of yet. Yeah. If you're inhaling, you're not inhaling water, you're inhaling a certain oil, okay, which is made, most of them are made of oils. So what is it? Nobody knows. Yeah. So I think it's Just- absolutely ridiculous that like if my, I know if my daughter come home with a vape, and, and oh. they're, they're dear. They're, dear, they're yeah. expensive fucking little machines. Yeah, no. Be I... in, in the, what, the bus car. The and bus they car stink. Pickle. They stink as well. I know fags stink. But like they stink. The vaping things actually stink. You're not getting odorless ones or something, no? Oh, you can, but what's the point of odorless ones? They want to the smell of fucking arse's tit and... Uh, it, be honest, like, monkey, when we used to, nipple. When we used to smoke... Outside Alan Kane's, or no, sorry, in Alan Kane's room out the window, right? We I'm blowing it out the window and then spraying like you know, Links I mean, Africa. Yeah, it was it was all gone. Like you know, or that's what you believed it was all gone. I think you would need an old spice or something like that for fuck's sake. You really that. Um, Kev, did you see the news this week about Alec Baldwin? As in, t- as in today, Friday. Very happened. sad, shockingly oh, sad. God, that's what we wanted to talk about. Like, what? How the fuck did this happen? Well, have you ever watched Columbo? Well, yeah, like back in the day, yeah. And more that she wrote. This oh, yeah. A, a, yeah. This is a, like a, a story from them that somebody had on a on a movie set has a has a, a gun that doesn't have any bullets in it and somehow the bullets have been changed into live rounds and he shoots someone. Yeah, because he, he said them. it was blanks. It was a dummy gun with yeah. blanks. Well, that's what it was fucking meant to meant be. Meant to like. be. Like, she was a, a mom. Gun. Yeah, she was a mom. She had kids. You know what I mean? Like, sick. I just, I read it and I was there going, because it was on one of these sites that I went into um, as a notification. I was like, oh, that's bullshit. But then I seen like he had a post up on Twitter and and I was just, I started reading into it going like, oh my God, this is like so sad. And like, like obviously the police have said, look, we haven't pressed charges against him because like obviously he didn't take this gun to work with him. 
and he didn't stand in front of somebody and intentionally shoot them. You know what I mean? Like, no. but there has to be something, surely. Like, someone stole- give him the gun. Someone yeah. give him a live round to shoot. Uh, and whatever just- happened, it's happened. And good. Like, it's very hard in the family of the person that died, and I think the director as well. That he got, he's got injured as well. He's, I think he's actually been released from hospital at this stage. Yeah. But as it's a time in- of our recording. To, and I know it's very hard and those people, but to, to be this actor at this time and a, a, a very well-known actor and to shoot and kill someone by absolute, by pure accident. Now, exactly, yeah. Somebody Gee. has somebody has made a, a an unbelievable mistake and unfortunately it's ended up in some people dying. But Jesus Christ, I it know. is something. Uh, honestly, God, I was going to say Columbo, more than she wrote. Yeah. CSI Miami wouldn't even think about doing something like this. You know what I mean? No, like, no, is, no. Money Jake and the fat man is, and stuff like that. Like, you know what I mean? This, this, like, is, this, is, this is stuff. A, a movie could be made about this now. Yeah. Of this happening. You know what I mean? Like, no, it's insane. Right. I watched a film today, Kev, right? Which is one of my favorite films of all time, which is 2012. John Cusack. You know, when the end of the world, to build like three arcs and they all. Never remember? seen it. I just said I've never seen it. How many times do you want me to say I've never seen it to realize I've never seen it? How have you never seen that film? Well, because this is where it's time for your opinion question, right? And it's based okay. on not the film, obviously, because you've never seen it, right? Okay. And I know you have a fun opinion on most things, right? Because I have literally no opinion on this, right? What's your opinion on this whole, I'm going to word it wrong, climate change, uh, climate change? Whatever you call that thing, you know where people go on about the world's ending and the seas getting higher and the grounds getting lower. And what's 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 your opinion on that, Kev? I kind of said this before, and weeks and months ago, I think now at this stage. Yeah, the earth's heating up. The earth is heating up. I believe that's happened. Okay, I don't think it's nothing to do with people. I don't think it's nothing to do with cows flatulence. Now it's now back in the news again about cows being farting, <laughs> uh, which. Seems to be a massive thing, a massive issue. But even though a plane, like a, like a planes can carry an, a one one plane journey, one plane journey say from here to England, is the same as a flatulence for four cows in one year. Okay, so that's that's kind of the remit of it. So one plane journey from Ireland to England is the same O2, CO two emissions as four cows make in a year. But we have an issue with cows. Okay, so there's the issues with cows. Yeah. But God help them. Uh, but yeah, the earth is heating up. That's okay. I believe that's what's happening. But I don't think it has nothing to do with human. This earth, okay, that we live on, we've only been here for a certain number of years, okay? It heats up, it cools down, it gets warmer, it gets colder. We're now in the heat phase, okay? This is what we're going through, it's a heat phase. Let's be honest, guys, we are being fed shite from the news all the time yeah okay at the minute this is what they want to want us to concentrate on and want us to worry about okay this is not this is non-existent in my opinion it's non-existent yeah okay the heat yeah the heat as i said it's heating up there's been hotter days than there's been before okay yeah ice bears are melting whatever yeah it's happening okay but the earth is heating up okay the earth will cool back down again maybe in 100 years, maybe 200 years, okay? It's a cycle. The earth is in the cycle, okay? And unfortunately, they're in a heat cycle, but you can't blame something that I can... I If I put my cartons of milk into the fucking recycling bin, Pickle, okay? Let's be honest. I'm not going to save the fucking world, okay? It depends on much beans, you drink. Or the pin, tin of fucking beans here. Like, let's be honest. Google fucking... Facebook, whatever you want to call yeah. them, okay? All these big multinational companies. Your man flying to a fucking rocket to the moon because he owns Amazon. Like, fuck off. Like, oh. if you want me to say... No, he owns... He owns... He owns Airbus. No, he, not Elon Musk. The other fellow. He, the fellow that owns um, Amazon. Oh. Yeah, yeah, Paul, yeah. Fella. Yeah, I can't think of his name. Yeah, you're like right. He's you're flying right, a right. rocket to the moon. He's flying a rocket to the moon with fucking pure gasoline and sinus. And he, we're talking about air CO2 emissions. Lads, I'm sorry. This doesn't exist. Yeah. Forget about it. The air heating up, yes, it's probably going to kill a lot of us in the end, but it'll cool back down again and yeah. it'll go, geez, it's very cold in here. You know that? Yeah. Very cold. Well, very cold. To, obviously, that was very intense and great detail. And I love the, I'm sure we get some comeback to this if any of those weird um, 
environmentalists. He knows people in England. He knows people in England fucking sitting on the streets. Yeah. Sitting on the M25 block. I'd run the fucking bastards over. You're on the road. Yeah. You have a footpath there. Walking the footpath. If you want to be in the road, sorry. Yeah. You're the fucking way. <laughs> the fuck out of my way. Because some woman in England drove a Land Rover into somebody. They tipped her. Yeah. They pushed her with the car. <laughs> you hurt me. You hurt me. Get the fuck out! You're in the sitting in the middle of the road. Get the fuck out of my way because it's see if they sat in my way. Yeah. Oh, okay, I know. I know. It would be. There'd be no one. It was the speed ramps. That's all it'd be. It'd be a speed ramp. <laughs> well, I was going to say, Kev. I wanted to talk about having a shower or a shite for a minute, right? <laughs> Did you hear what? about your man? A shower or a shite? You hear about your man in Windsor? He was out sunbathing and a plane dropped the human waste. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, I, I thought this was, I, I didn't think this was real. Yeah, did it yeah, land yeah. on him or did it land on his house? No, it landed on him. No way. Yeah, so it did. Like, he's going to claim damages on uh, on the insurance and stuff like that. Cause that obviously, would be sore. Like, that's a lot of shit falling that, from the sky. Especially like, on top of you. Like, take the head of you. Like, that's what I was going to say. How did it not kill him? If it, if it, I think it would freeze as it was yeah. falling, but it not. That's what it means. It would have been heavy coming from like way up there, like you know what I mean. Yeah. Well, I would have thought it would have been. Um, it takes a yeah. whole rain and cats and cats and dogs out of the whole equation, doesn't it? Like it kind of does. Even you have to worry about the shite. Rain, yeah, that's some shite rain. No, no, no. You say wet rain and dry rain. That's some. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, just the weather shite today. Yeah. The fucking weather is shite. It was fucking covering me. Kev, we said last week. We were introducing your own segment. I forgot all about this pickle. This show. Well, it's grand. I have them anyway. They were sent in. I, I, okay, I copied two. them. I, I, copied them. Uh, I think we got four, but I, just got, <laughs> I got two of them out. Because I meant to put a thing up during the week as a reminder um, of it. So it was only people who listened, obviously, last week sent in stuff right now. One, I believe, is is very probably true and factual, right? The other one seems so long that I'm going to read out to it, right? It just seems a little bit... That I'm going to read it to you because you're the guy that's going to help these people, Kev, right? It's Kev's okay. corner, right? So it's all you, but this one, there's a bit too much detail in this for me, for me liking, right? And maybe we'll tell people, look, you have to make it short and sweet, okay? Kind of like what the second question is, right? So, Kev, this is the first one, right? Kev, I need your help. My brother is getting married in six weeks to a great girl. The whole family loves her a bit, and have been together for five years or so. But I have a problem. Me and Hor have slept with have slept with each other more than once over the last year. We are <laughs> there's inverted commas here, so take this as you will, right? We are running mates, okay? So during COVID, we would socially, and anybody on Spotify doesn't know I'm doing this, okay? Uh, socially distance, but in fact, we were just a way off riding. My question is. Uh, here you go, Kev. So here's the, here's the eventual question, right? Okay. My question is, should I tell my brother? We both said no more sex, but I was lying. I want to keep doing it. Any words of wisdom would be great. Thanks, Chris. Oh, Chris. Oh, he actually was near the end of that. Didn't say it wasn't his real name. So I'm just going to... Well, oh, well, Chris. Fuck it. Chris. Well, Christy Brown or whatever you want to call yourself. Lad. Stop. Walk <laughs> away from this... Nut job, whatever you want to call her, Mary. Okay, <laughs> yeah, we we'll call her Mary. Holy, Greg. holy Jesus, your brother will shoot you. Okay, leave your brother alone, leave the woman's brother's, your leave your woman, your brother's woman alone. Yeah, just go to the wedding, let them be, let them live happily ever after, move on. There's plenty more fish in the sea, and more fannies in the fannies in the, in the club. Okay, just leave this one alone. This is your brother's. Wife to be, stay away the fuck. Okay, this is not what us. You you end up losing. You are the loser that's gonna lose. Okay, yeah, exactly. Your brother's not gonna talk to you. Your mother and father's might, might might not talk to you. You might get your willy wet, but that <laughs> is not worth losing your mother and father for. Yeah, your family over. Like. Leave your willy. Yeah, leave your willy alone. Oh, yeah. Get a, dip your wick somewhere else. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Fair enough. Look at Kev. You're here to help. You see, out now. The other one's nice and short and sweet, literally, right? Kev, <laughs> Maria here. Just a quick question. <laughs> I'm so happy I read these beforehand, right? My man comes way too quick, and I am done acting like I am finished too. <laughs> Any ideas? Maybe oh, she's yeah, really loads, harsh. Loads no, but maybe ideas. she's really harsh. 
doesn't matter how hot you are. Doesn't matter how hot you are. You don't, you don't want to be coming like that. You don't want to be coming like that. Now hold on a second. Jesus what, can, what can you tell whore like? What 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 can you? Because it's, it's not a, whore it's problem. The same, it's the same as we've been through before. Okay, of the what's the word pickle and the female uh, version of it. Agent? What? Agent. It's the same oh, yeah, kind of right. thing. Okay. Okay. Same kind of thing. Okay. So, edge it. Okay. <laughs> so, if you're in the motion and it's all the communication here. Okay. So, if he feels like he's about to blow his load, okay, stop. Stop dead. Okay. As the Mormons are doing it now, the Mormons are saying that they don't actually lose their virginity if if they actually have penetration. Yeah, the Mormons. Like so one. You kind of, you're not meant to. That's the radio off topic again, as usually for me. <laughs> Uh, if they have sex, okay, and the, the man penetrates her, penetrates her, but doesn't move, okay, just feeds inside her and doesn't move, just stays there, they actually don't lose their virginity. This is what they believe, okay? That's what they believe. They just, once they're in, they're in, and that, that sends a cute pickle, so you, maybe you're still a virgin. <laughs> uh, <laughs> America happens, kid. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. They're going to edge it, so stop. Start again, or as he's doing it, hold the bottom of his shaft, okay, really tight, okay. So as he's doing it, so once he's hard, then you're cutting off the circulation to his manhood, okay. So the bottom, bottom of the shaft, hold it if you if you want to do it that way. Otherwise, by a, a really tight coupling, okay, and make it nice and tight, okay. You, get, you can get adjustable ones, so you can get a nice tight one, okay, and it will fit on. Tighten it up, okay. So then. He can last for longer, okay? He won't, he won't come as quickly because the blood is now constantly there. The trust him won't actually aggravate it as much. Okay, there so go, eh? honestly, yeah, I, I would advise a, a cock ring, a, an adjustable one a, for you and... Did she give her? Did he give his name? Maria? No, just Maria. She, didn't, Maria. she didn't give his name. That might have yeah. been too fucking um, obvious if she no. had to give his name as well. We like. probably know him then. We yeah. might know his name then. But yeah, honestly, a, a cock ring or the edging kind of thing goes on again, which is good. But that, but I seen as you're not you're not finishing in your way as you're saying. I would advise cock ring so you can both finish and enjoy at the same time. Happy days, Kev. I'm so happy we we call this Kev's corner instead of Pickles' problems, okay? Because I just would not have... I would have been like, go find another bloke. That was great detail, great help, and I'm sure there's loads of other women out there who are having the same problems with the fella. And Kev, you just helped all of them. Like, literally, okay. all of I them. I helped myself, Pickle. I helped myself in that. I know. When we get into the guilty pleasures uh, part of the show, I'm sure you're going to go into grave detail. And also, oh, at, no. the time, at the time of recording, Kev, St. Pat's are after going 3 1 up in the 95th minute. So that is unfortunately the end of the road for the dock in the cup. Um, yeah, Ash, look, just finish ahead of Draw Hill in the league and it'll be grand. Um, Kev, we're coming towards the end of the show. I think we have covered most things. What I do want to give a quick shout out to is because I we were down at Clancy Park, obviously on Tuesday. I want to give a shout out to Peter Cherry uh, with the goalkeeping academy uh, because again, saw so him doing another session with the with the young lads. Um, fucking brilliant again. Like I was actually talking to one of the dads was down watching. It. I was actually chatting to him while we were waiting for our game to start, and he just said his kids are absolutely fucking loving it, Kev. So he is like, you know what I mean. He didn't even start out as a goalkeeper. He just went to it to kind of do a bit of football. And now he's loving being a goalkeeper, so he is. But yeah, Peter, keep up the great work. Obviously, the little cherries, Kev, what's that? Two weeks in, I think. Two weeks in. in. Two weeks in. Two um, weeks in. Haven't got them out yet. Just there's that many different bloody things going on at the time that it's on. Um, it's going to be going brilliant. Of course, it already is. And it's going to continue to go brilliant. So yeah, keep up the good work. Obviously, Peter and, of course, Justine as well, who we always have to give a shout out, Kev, because we certainly know the work that she does. Um, Justine, he's been really rude right now, so he is looking at him. He's not even talking to you. Look, he's just he's too busy looking down. He's probably no, texting just something like, oh, he is. I do, <laughs> I do want to just say something before we close the show about something that not annoys me, but just I don't understand why. Okay, if people can't be nice, okay, people can't be nice about yeah. something and they don't know the full extent of the information that they're trying to portray. Don't say that at all, okay. Leave it alone. Okay. Yeah. You might have a, in the, a disagreement or you might have, uh, you might like someone or you might like something the way some people are doing it. It doesn't mean you need to voice your opinion all the time. Okay. Just, you can be kind. 
Okay. You don't even mean or trying to throw shit, tr shit, mo shit and people just try to make it stick. Okay. Just be nice. Be yeah. gentle. I think we talk about people opinions, Kev. At the other end of it, are yeah. passionate and about what they do. Yeah, I think we, we we're talk... nice about it. We don't go into exactly the detail, and we don't try to hurt people's feelings. No, no, okay, no, no. So don't try to hurt people. Just yeah. try to be nice. Exactly. People are trying to do good stuff out there. Like you know what I mean? Hey, oh, come here! I'm after seeing the thing there from RTE earlier on. You have to have a ticket now to go to nightclubs or any live entertainment venues under new rules put in place next week. Which sure, I thought that was anyways. Uh, blessed on Sunday night are playing in the Tipsy Cow in Dundalk. So the yeah, if it had been a week later, the wife would have been paid. We could have went. Um, but yeah, you know what I mean. Like they're in town. The boys are. I, the plan was to go to it, but that's not going to be happening, unfortunately. Um, I'm sure they'll have a savage session anyway. Also, we have to apologise. This week we were meant to have an interview with Niall McNamee. Okay, it was a cross wires thing, completely on air side, like literally completely on air side. Nothing to do with it Niall. Me. It was Kev. It was me. It, it was I, Kev. I, was, I, I said. I said. Yeah, we did, did we that on Wednesday night. I unfortunately had already booked something with my brother on Wednesday night, and my yeah. brother wasn't going to take no for an answer. So yeah. I unfortunately I double booked myself uh, for that night. So yeah, but we we got talking. We'll have him on next week. Yeah, we got talking. We'll get it sorted at some point. You know, I mean, we know how busy he is. The guy is literally getting ready to take off to the fucking moon. You know what I mean? Like he's uh, he's going to be an absolute superstar. So he is. But yeah, Kev, I don't think there's any other itty bitty things that we need to throw in this week, is there? I think we're good. I think that's uh, us for the week. That's also us for the week, yeah? Happy fucking days. Well, listen, guys, it was episode 40. Woohoo. Deadly, hey. Deadly, Kev. But 41 next week. We're getting so close to big, the year, man. Big. Oh, and next week's Halloween, as I said earlier on the show. So we're going to ask you, we're going to put stuff up during the week, wanting some stories about Halloween. Spooky Halloween. Oh, so, my yeah, God. guys, if you want to dress up in Kevin Pickle for Halloween, do it. Go for it. Send us a picture. We'd love to see those pictures if you want to dress up as Kevin Pickle for Halloween. Yeah. Mine's just a bald head with a really bad goatee. And you know what I mean? Like, and my, mine, you can put it, you, you get it as an old snake or something like that and just put it in between your legs and you'd be laughing. I was going to say like a French baguette, but you know what I mean? Like a, whatever you're into, you know what I mean? Walking out of Tesco with a French baguette between your legs. Um, listen, guys, have a awesome week. Thanks so much for obviously listening into us again. Two videos, that's just us not having a fucking clue what's going on. Um, but we hope you've enjoyed the show. Thanks so much for Michal, obviously, for coming on. Um, he's going to be telling us a lot of stories about Kev in a couple of months um, when it comes to that live show. I can guarantee that. Kev. I can tell you so much about him, too. I know yeah. you can. I know you can, but he doesn't have a podcast. It's grand, right? Okay, People want to hear about you <laughs> and the fucking whistle so it is. Like, you know what I mean? Um but yeah, I think we're good, Kev. What would you like to say to all the beautiful people that listen in and watching? Simple, very simple this week. Guys, enjoy Halloween. Enjoy the fireworks. Enjoy trick-or-treating. Enjoy Kev, going to your house. that's not till next Sunday. We have another show that goes out on Halloween night. Okay, but still enjoy Halloween. I'm enjoy the enjoy week Halloween. before. Enjoy Midtown. Enjoy Midtown. Enjoy Midtown. Your kids were dressed up for school today. But yeah, enjoy the week. Uh, have fun. Be, be safe. Yeah. If you uh, if you are in uh, Ridley's uh, or whatever, if you are in the Tipsy Cow or whatever you want to be in, sanitize up and let it soak in before you start doing that, and you shouldn't be doing. Great words, Kev. Great words. We'll see you all Guys, next week, folks. Share the show. 